Hey everyone, you are on the lot with Stephen Hill here at Landover Southwest Houston. It's the best place to work and shop. They wanted to show off a really cool Defender X that we just got in. It's brand new. Let's check it out together. So I'm super excited to show you a brand new 2023 Land Rover Defender 110, and it is the X. So it's a Defender X, it's the 110. It's in Santorini black, and it's got the diamond turned silver wheels. I think these are 22s, let me find it really quick. Yep, so it's a 275-45 R22. And what's really kind of special about the Defender X is it's got the Brembo brakes as well. So you've got a little bit uh, better braking ability with the car. And then um, it's got the off-road pack as well. I'd love to show you the undershield here. So I think all the Defenders have it, which is kind of fun to show off. And then this particular one has the black pack on it. What's neat is it's not just the, um, the little um, reductive grill and the, the letters, but also the little smiley face on the bottom is blacked out. So you can kind of see the um, 75th anniversary and the Defender 130 over there have kind of the regular front ends. But this one's got the blacked out front end. And it also has the illuminated headlights. So uh, these are gonna be lit up when the car is running. So it kind of looks angry, like it's scowling at you a little bit. Pull it, take it down the side. You'll see that it's a Defender X uh, by the um, the orange painted um, Brembo brake calipers and also the Defender X on the side. So I'm sure people will try to buy the little X and put it on there, but they probably aren't gonna be able to buy the Brembo brakes. It's got the uh, blacked out side box here as well. And then you'll also see on the back of the car, the um, gray tail lamps. So this is something that's special on the Defender X. I'll show you. Normally they're gonna be the red color like this, but um, on the Defender X they're grayed out, which is kind of cool. And then you also have the recovery hooks on this one, the tow pack showing off Southwest Houston, it's my home, and then the passenger side of the vehicle. Kind of walk all the way around and get you a full circle. So there's the outside. Let's go check out the inside. Let's crack the door and see what we can find on this Defender X. Bam. So uh, first look, you're gonna see the uh, natural wood is standard on the vehicle. Let me kind of get up close so you can see the natural green. It's kind of got a vertical cuts with the horizontal lines on it. And you'll see it on the door pull on the passenger side in the middle and also on the door pulls in the back seat. Don't see it on this one because the door handle set up differently on the driver's door, right there. All right, and then also you're gonna see the Windsor leather. So this is a little more supple leather. And then on the sides, just so you don't get cracks and stuff is the Robust Tech right there. And you got the full leather steering wheel. So see the full leather here on the steering wheel and also wrapped around right there. All right, let me hop in just give me a sec. So before I hop in, I wanted to show you, it's got the uh, Meridian surround sound system. You got the folding mirrors and the memory seats and the windows and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people on the back. And then also um, you got the illuminated Defender um, on the tread plate. And then obviously the whole car is uh, rubberized on the floorboard. So if you spill something, you get to wipe it right up. We do have the carpeted mats, which uh, make the car look more luxurious. Hold on. So we do have the, um, oh, that's kind of cool too. You got like a little um, piece for the back, but the carpeted mats, really make the car look more luxurious when you put those in too. So just so you know, but we have the rubber mats in there for now. All right, let me hop in. Uh, sport pedals, hopping in. Let me fire it up for you, okay? Right there. Takes a second, everything's firing up. So if you look, it currently has 10 miles on it. It's a baby, she's brand new. And then also standard on the car, you've got your um, head up display right here, so it kind of creates a, like a teleprompter on the front windshield right there. And then you have the clear view rear view mirror so you can kind of see the camera. Hey guys, how are you? And then you flip the switch and you have the camera on the rear of the car so you can see out a little bit better than like that. And then you have the bigger screen. Um, these are reserved for the uh, Defender 130s and also for the Defender X. And also this uh, 75th anniversary has the bigger screen as well. And then you can um, turn on the cameras and let's go ahead and just look at the car this way so you can kind of rotate around the vehicle. And this is kind of fun, so when I turn my wheel, 
See that wheel turning right there? Turn it back. So I'll do that by just turning the wheel right here. And then also, um, this one has the air conditioned and heated seats. So I was messing with this earlier, so I've already got an AC over here and heat over there. That comes in really handy if you live in a place like we do where it's cold in the morning and hot in the um, afternoon and then cold again. Um, it's got the um, heavy duty off-road package, which is standard. You can also raise and lower the vehicle and you have the um, high and low um, transfer case. Where you can switch back and forth. And what else can I show you? Uh, evolution of charging, uh, USB-C, USB circle charger, and then you have inductive charging and a really, um, no pun intended, cool refrigerator that you can put your juice boxes in here and keep everything cold. I'll leave it on. Your uh, passenger seat. And there's also a charge point right here. Throw all your gear up in the tray up here, which is nice. And there's actually, there's a place back here too where you can throw things in your cup holders and storage down low under here. And this little cover, actually this cover right here, normally gets shipped from England position like that because they don't like us to have cup holders but um, I usually take this off immediately I'll flip it around and it stores right under here right there all right um, let's see if I missed anything in the front nope I think we got it all covered big huge panoramic roof and let's check out the back seat all right we'll check out the back seat together so you have the, um, the natural wood on the door pulls Got your Windsor leather in the back seats. I know some manufacturers will, will cheat. They'll put leather in the front, but then they'll put like, I don't know, Naga hide or some fake leather in the back. This is real leather, uh, Windsor leather in the back. And you have your uh, heated seats in the rear. Uh, they can only be controlled by the people in the rear. I was trying to play with it up there and you can't. And you have your charging option. So it's USB and USB and you have to convert from there. And then the big panoramic roof makes the car feel more open. Tons of space, guys. And then I love the Alpine windows. And let's check out the back of the car. So as you approach the vehicle, you just um, push the little button right here. It slides open to the side. And then back here, you're gonna see your carpeted mats. I kind of looked at that earlier. The front license plate bracket, 99% of my clients don't drill the holes on their car and put it on there. Um, some will. And then this looks like it's a, um, like a, I guess a little storage container that fits on the back of your seat. So you can kind of uh, organize all your stuff, all your gear. Um, this is like a, something you can unfold and put in the windshield to block the sun. First aid kit. Uh, you've got a cover. It's like a soft um, cover that will uh, bungee from here to here to cover your um, cargo. Keep it from flying around if you're hitting bumps. And you've got your um, coat hanger. Uh, there's a purse hanger and some tie downs and some netting. You're locking lug nuts and valve stem cover caps. So lots of goodies that probably need to be installed in the car. Just haven't done it yet. And then you also can uh, raise and lower the height of the vehicle back here. So if you're trying to load cargo, you can maybe lower it down by pushing the button there. And there's a little storage, some stretchy storage compartments here and here and there. Close her down. Guys, yeah, you don't get to see a sticker on one of these very often, so I wanted to kind of just give you a quick look over. So it's the Santorini Black with the ebony interior. It's loads of standard equipment because it's a Defender X. There's loads of standard equipment coming down here. Showing your warranty information. And then um, your base MSRPs right at 90,600. These are your optional features that are on the car. And your fuel economies right there. And then your um, MSRP right there. But that's my um, first look of the Defender X. We don't get them that often. This one currently is available and I'm gonna roll um, some static photos that I took right after this. Thanks guys for watching. I'll show you some photos of the car. The Defender X currently do have the uh, 75th anniversary um, 110 and I've got two Defender 130s that are available right now as well. Give me a call. You're on the lot with Stephen Hill.